Hello and welcome to the final chapter of Rise of the Kasai. Last time we finally managed to wrap up the storyline quite nicely, so I legitimately don't know what we're going to do in this last area, but before we find out, I'd like to share with you the source of my greatest suffering in LP history. It's right here in Arena 9, the arena we unlocked by completing all the challenges in Hasa. Turned out not to be worth it because the arena challenges are literally impossible. Maybe someone out there has done them. Uh, I certainly couldn't. I had to turn on all the cheats. It's the first time I've ever used cheats in this game. So I'm going to show you just why the time attack is inhuman. We need to immediately get out the axe and start doing a combo right about here. Catch all these enemies before they run away. These archers will run to opposite corners, and once they're gone, they may as well be in a different level, because you're not going to get to them. So that went uncommonly well. I need to do the rest of this perfectly. These guys are way too close to the door. So if I attack them any further, it's going to be a problem. Yeah, this is going to waste me a lot of time. Drag them out of there. Come on. Okay, Tati will finish them, hopefully. I need to kill the archer before the next group will spawn. Up oh, and Tati left the guy in the doorway. She does that. Come on. There we go. Now, another group is going to come out of this door. Oh, they already have. So they split up. Far too much for me to actually hit the time limit now. But I can still kill them. Doing this ground and pale, that takes way too much time. If you do a ground and pale, you've already lost. This is all for the time limit challenge here. There are two other challenges before you are allowed to collect your prize. Yeah, the axe is the only weapon that kills fast enough, and yet it doesn't kill nearly fast enough. For the body count challenge in uh, this arena, I used the sword, and I just did uh, all the instant death combos that it has. You have to cycle through those, or else they start getting blocked. That required me to get 37 kills in 6 minutes, and that took hours. Getting the time limit challenge, even with cheats activated, took much, much longer, though. So we're almost done. Tati's doing nothing, as she likes to do. During the uh, earlier sections where I was trying to catch enemies while they are coming out of the door, doing that perfectly requires that Tati kill specific enemies at specific times, which she rarely is compliant with. So, that was everybody, and you'll notice the timer continued to tick down for a good five seconds. So let's try that again and just check out the challenges. See what I was expected to do. It took about two minutes, 15 seconds, I think. We needed to complete it in one minute, 50 seconds. That was after hours of training I was able to do that. Then you can do the other challenges. Luckily, you don't have to do them all in one run like you did in the first game. So, I was able to do that eventually, using all the cheats, but, uh, it was a nightmare. And all that was to unlock a concept art gallery that I hope you will enjoy. Now I'm going to deactivate all my cheats, then we can move on to storyline progress. I can't believe this game ruined arenas for me, though. They were my favorite thing in Mark of Curry. Very disappointing, but... Maybe this will not be disappointing. I can certainly hope. Once again, only one Tuku, so maybe another short level? I'm eager to find out just what this whole thing is going to be about, though. In all of her years, Tati never had a choice. She was born cursed, and her life was never her own. Now, for the first time, she is in control of her own destiny, and will answer to no one. 
In their haste, the Rakus protected the spell and forgot about the person. Tati Utu has now created her own path. Who knows where it will lead? Kuzo, spirit guide, you have done well. Calm has been restored to the heavens, and destiny prevails. The gods owe you their favor. You shall be remembered for this. It is time once more for you to take up your charge, and go about the tasks set forth in your destiny. You are a spirit guide. You are a scout for the great Wao Utu, sent from the heavens to steer him in his many adventures. Your master is a legend who shall roam the Three Kingdoms, protecting it from Hasa and the evil of the Kasai. The security of the Three Kingdoms rests in his calloused hands, while his safety falls on your shoulders, Spirit Guide. You are his guide, teacher, and chronicler. Go from here, back to the beginning, back to your first meeting, then guide him well, Kuzo. There are many adventures ahead. Huh. Not much in the way of explanation of why we're playing as Bamusu and Grizz now. Maybe the level itself will tell us. Um, we used Grizz last time, and he's a terrible character. So we're going to return to Bamusu to round things out. And so, this story draws to an end. Or maybe it stumbles across its own humble beginnings. As soon as we reached Tiru, I flew ahead quickly and guided the Rakus to the marked child that maybe she sought. Tiru was under siege, and Kasai troops were everywhere looking for the infant. I found her. Hidden away in an ancient temple, screaming and terrified, she had attracted the Kasai's attention. All that stood between her and them were the valiant efforts of her brother. Just a boy, but somehow managing to keep the Kasai at bay. So we gotta go rescue our true heroes before we really get anywhere with this. Okay, check out our challenges. Make sure I don't miss anything. Uh, three disarms, crush four heads, split seven torsos, and all combos. Hmm. But only with two of the weapons. That's interesting. One thing I figured out about all combo challenges, finally, after failing at them for so long, is that uh, the four swing combo, the one that's called like Bao Usu or whatever character you're using, that one counts as one of your combos. So I would do all the combos that your character actually shouts out and then miss that one very simple combo. And that was the cause of much, much frustration. This is why you don't, you know, just say all, do all combos as your challenge give some indication of what that actually means. Keep Grizz alive so that he can die in the future. Hey. Now, because we're playing as Baumusu now, this is the final level. We'll never get to see all of Grizz's, uh, combo executions. And I can't allow that. He did one of the freaking Punisher quick kills where he tossed his weapon into their hand and then killed them with it. So, obviously we need to give Grizz his due respect and see the rest of his animations maybe in a bonus video or something. Because that's the one thing they did unequivocally perfect in this game. I have no complaints about how they handled that. Hopefully the challenge for this, uh, or the arena for this level will not be any more difficult than the arena for the previous level. 
because I literally would not be able to handle that. Okay. Grind troops all down once I kill these archers. Looks like it'll be story time. Grizz is not very interested in assisting me, though. These archers like to hop around while they're getting shot. Which can be very inconvenient when trying to kill them. Right over his head. Yeah, I could really use Grizz's help here. Where did he go? Oh well, almost out of ammo. But everyone's dead. So, what tale could you possibly tell us in this virtually out of context chapter of the game? To hide the ancient spells inside the souls of men was a terrifying proposal. That someone should become the vessel of such an evil thing and damn their family lines forever. But the spells threatened the safety of the three kingdoms and somehow had to be dealt with. Amute was known to be the kindest among kings. Handing his bloodstained sword to his man at arms, he stepped forward and requested that he be one of the vessels. The sanctity and safety of his homeland depending on the destruction of the Kasai. Following his heroic gesture, the remaining leaders stepped forward and requested the same. Tangaren Thoth quietly pointed out that they would need one more in order to hide all of the spells away. Then out of the crowd stepped a young warrior from the north, still eager to prove his worth. And so Tao, of the line of Utu, cursed his line for all eternity with the mark of Kree. Book of the Damned, Rise of the Kasai, 5-5. Fascinating. Now we know how Tati got cursed many thousands of years ago. I think that's the uh, sort of timeline we're working with, millennia. I'm not certain they've ever specifically said so, though. Weird industrial slant to the music here. Nope, oh, armored archer. Can't do much about that. So the final Tuku will be in this level. There's still no indication of what it might do. Quit beating up my skinny friend. Stop beating up me. Uh, there's the final Tuku now. If I could get my buddy to safety. No, he's just gonna parade around out in the open with archers firing upon him. He's probably gonna die. But I'm gonna get that Tuku. I must know the secret has been withheld for far too long. Uh, it does nothing? <laughs> uh, this game, I really, really like this game. <laughs> I liked it a lot more before I had to do those arena challenges that drove me insane. But I still really like this game. It is incompetent in quite a wonderful way. I'm really, really gonna miss Bottle Rocket after this. Step aside, Rakus. The child is mine. Maybe, see. I thought I smelled Gangoon. We'll die first, Kasai. Oh, I know, I know. Kill them! Kill them all! As expected, very short level, it looks like. Looks like baby Tati was born with uh, highlights in her hair. That's pretty cool. 
Maybe that's an additional mark. And this looks to be the sort of boss fight that Mark of Kree series was made for. Just a load of guys trying to kill ya. If any tentacles show up, I will turn this game off. Hey, die. Die, you. They won't let me kill my BC. Guess because it would be a time paradox. Where are you guys going? Oh, they're trying to kill Rao. Can't have that. But I also can't really distract them very well. Might actually be kind of hard to get the challenges in this level because it's so short. But yeah, like I was saying, gonna miss Bottle Rocket. They have their own special brand of making terrible games that are still really, like, they're very passionate about, very clearly. Because no one wanted this game except for them. And me, of course. The bird! Choke down the bird! It has the child! Quickly, while they're distracted, head for the boat! Boy, by my side! Let us fight together! Fools! Stop them! They're getting away! Run, Arrakis! Run! I'll see you again! I guarantee you the story does not end here! Your day is over! Now is the time of the Kasai! I'll find the child! No matter where you hide, I'll find the child! You have only begun to see Hassa's might! This is just the beginning, Arrakis! This is just the beginning! Keeping to forest paths and back roads, Baumutsu, Grizz, and the two children headed for Nungari. Two generations of Rakus, the last of their kind, on a mission of utmost importance. To find a garden at the center of a city, then plant the oracle seed. They needed instruction as to where they should hide the child, and so for the last time, Baumutsu and Grizz communed with the oracle. Bamusu, Grizz, I am indebted to you both. You have plucked both the child and I from the hands of the Kasai. Even now, Mibisi rages. Take the children and head north of Taburoku to an inn by a lake. There you will find Rongo, its owner, a warrior sympathetic to our cause. Raise the children and train them well. But you must keep the girl's mark hidden and never tell them of her value to the enemy. Upon these children, the future of the Three Kingdoms depends. Rao and Tati, two children who would so shape my future and that of our world. Rao, whose name would be whispered to calm children on stormy nights. Hero of the Three Kingdoms, destined to one day sit amongst gods. And of course, Tanti, whose story has yet to be written, be it good or bad. I still have more to tell, but am weary, so must leave that for another day. Yeah, nice try, Bottle Rocket. <laughs> Putting foreshadowing in the very final cutscene of a game that barely came out. Oh, I'm so glad it did come out, though. Really love this game. I can't blame anyone else for finding it terrible, as many of the viewers have. But, you know, it's for me and a couple of other people in the thread. Some people liked it better than uh, Mark of Cree. Bit surprising to me, but to each their own. I obviously can't judge. Vaguely disappointed that the ending was so short, and the final fight was pretty anticlimactic since it just cuts off halfway through. 
Well, just sort of a nice little victory lap. It's much better than what Bottle Rocket typically does, which is add a last minute twist that invalidates the entire story up to that point. Because the story up to that point was actually pretty satisfying. It's Jeff Maka Merghardt's name over and over again. The esteemed artist from the original game. Despite his name showing up so many times, his uh, role was drastically reduced for this game. And it shows. But still, excellent art assets all around. I don't think anyone's complaining about the visuals of this game. Just how the gameplay was kind of messed up. And the design wasn't great overall, level design especially. What I really would have liked was, instead of ten levels, maybe like five really huge levels where the characters split up all the time so that there's reason to play through them multiple times as each character. But that really would have required a lot of design expertise that seems to have been lacking in this game's development team. Now about Bottle Rocket, they made this game, the sequel to Mark of Kree. They made an adaptation of Shaolin Showdown. They worked on an adaptation of The Flash before the studio that had hired them to do so got shut down. Then they tried to make Splatterhouse, dragged it out for years and years, filled it with bugs and other non-releasable aspects, and eventually got kicked off the project with the team from uh, Afro Samurai coming in to finish the job. So, poor old Bottle Rocket never got to make an original title. And really only ever got their name on uh, two completed games. It's a sad tale, but I really love uh, the two games of theirs that I played. Maybe if I could find out something else that they did, I would certainly track it down and play it. Not Javelin Showdown, that was probably, like, blunted to all hell, but... Maybe. Uh, save my progress. Get further confirmation that the Tukus did nothing. They are just a bit of busy work for me. Let's see. Yeah. Well, that's every Tuku. No prize for it. Oh, and uh, you can't go back with Kree unless you uh, choose to betray Rao. Then you can just jump straight to uh, Kree and do it properly, the canonical way. But I believe I've shared my feelings about this game. like it a whole lot. I am glad that I got to do the Let's Play. There are very few Let's Plays of this game on the internet. And uh, I'm glad I did it blind, because there's literally no way I would have made it through if I had done it uh, my usual way. Very enjoyable game. I will be coming back to unlock and complete that final arena. I don't know if I'll do a video of it, but I do have to share um, Grizz's various combos, and probably some other miscellaneous things, so if they're short, I might append them to the end of this video, or I might make a bonus video. Either way, thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you in some other project. Oh, no!